What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is the November Patreon Pick of the Month Bullet Train. Thank mm -hmm. you to all of our patrons who uh, voted in the poll. If you are watching this, the December Patron Pick of the Month is, is uh, the poll is live. Yes. So if you're a member of our Patreon over at patreon.com slash nerdy nightly, which is also the location you can get the full length reaction to this movie, mm -hmm. go vote. Yeah, let yeah. us let us know what you we want to see. The, I don't know how many things of on it are like Christmassy. They're all gonna be Christmassy. They're all gonna be Christmassy. Yeah. Okay, nerdy seen like most every Christmas movie, so it's we have to find <laughs> things that we both haven't seen. She keeps being like, we should watch Die Hard, and I'm like, do you think I haven't seen Die Hard eight million times? No, that's the joke. Yippee Kaye, mother trucker. Um, that's the safer TV version. If you want, oh no, I, we already said that. Yeah. Let's just get into the reaction. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bullet train. Somebody push that kid off a roof? This is all gonna be cut for YouTube. I I like the like it feels like a modern Western media trope where they play a popular American song, but they play the like in movie universe country language for it. Oh, like, these okay. are the Japanese lyrics for Staying Alive. Oh, okay. I feel like that's a thing that's been happening a lot lately. Ladybug's supposed to be lucky. Ha, ha. <sighs> I'll take wet shoes in that case. Yeah. Wet shoes hit by truck. Uh... Yeah. Duration. It is my last job. The political blackmail photos. I remember the suicidal bellboy climbed to the roof of his hotel, couldn't take it anymore. Seems more like his bad luck than yours. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy! And he did <laughs> Please tell me you didn't order the sleeping powder. Nope. You almost gave that bodyguard in Anchorage a heart attack. I've worked on the doses. I've worked on my doses. <laughs> this is a fun little beginning to the movie. Yeah, it is not what I expected at all. The whole luck thing. <laughs> hey! Hey! It saved the cheerleader, saved the world. What? That is not his name. No, but that's my favorite part. Oh man, I love Hero. Honestly, like he made that show for me. Yeah, that and my undying crush on Hidden Panettiere at that time. Fair. I was deeply in love. It's quality people. Very soon it's time for some change. I love the Shinkansen. The what? The bullet train. Oh. It is the greatest train line I've ever been on in my life. We'll ride it when we go. It's this massive. We'll, we'll go. We, I was only on it as much as I was because Disney paid for it. <laughs> sure, but I mean, it's like one of those That's things that I've never on. done. I, I would pay. Hey! Wow, everyone in this movie is famous. Yeah. Oh, I just don't have to nip the biscuits, man. Lemon and tangerine. Oh, yeah, you're right. Which one is lemon and which one is tangerine? I think he's lemon because he's yellow in his tie. I was going to say, I think he's tangerine because his hair is blonde. Don't worry, God. It's like, no. They bowed here. What? Arigato gozaimasu. Show some respect. Oh, I... Okay. This is why I wouldn't go to Japan myself, I'd go with you. <laughs> that is not very concealed at all. They're all asleep. This is first class. These people are out. <laughs> what is happening? This movie is... So many things. I know she's famous. I can't remember who she is. Oh, it's not my mate. Oh, it's not yours. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't bleed. Oh, in that case, just leave your jacket open. Let everyone have a good. I don't bleed. Yeah, no fucking way. I'm gonna find one. Bre Wait. What? Twin sticker on the hand. Yeah. Holy shit, box. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. No one likes lemons. Sparlocks, mate. Lemonade. Not true. 
I eat lemons. Lemon meringue pie. Lemon drizzle cake? I'm sorry. All the time. You have not had a lemon meringue pie My in favorite a dessert year. in the world is the lemon meringue tart from the Bean and Baker malt shop that is now closed. That might be true, but you have I am married to you. You have not had a lemon meringue pie in a year. I haven't had the chance. I'm tangerine is lemon. Like the fruit? Fuck no bitch. Is that what his tattoo says? Probably. He's trying to break out of the Percy Jackson uh, reputation. He's trying to, you know, like a Disney Channel star posting nudes on the internet. And he's trying to flex his adult muscles. Right. Sweet. No order. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah. 16 kills, mate. No, it was 17. E six. Strangle you. Do you mind if we do this right now? Oh, Don't God, worry about it. you, man. <laughs> One. Two and three. Okay, here we go. What? What's with the fish? Oh, they need the wheelbarrow. <laughs> it's like, what is... Quite a lot of swords, actually. <laughs> swords are fun. <laughs> the gentle like... forehead cradling. That wasn't our fault. That wasn't our fault. fault. No. <laughs> what a montage. This movie's wild already. Lemon, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's that shit. Wait, you they left the ransom money in the luggage area? Of course I've got the case. You will both be bored at Kyoto Station, then you Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up so bad. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah. Why do I even bother forwarding you the briefings? I do not know. <laughs> Fair point. He made his own alliance. His own. Is that Brad Pitt? His character? Is that gonna be the twist? No, he said he's 6'6". Six, six. Brad no, Pitt is yeah. not 6'6". Six, six. Drunk driving accident or some shit. And yeah, now he's at the compound. It was Jason Statham. No, that was Brad Pitt. There's so many flashbacks in this movie. Yeah. Oh, the fuck am I going to kill? You'll see. Maybe it is Brad Pitt. Do you think he wears like really big lifts when he's around other people? When he's the so white dad, he... he has like so he's six six, and that's how he hides himself. Is he he like wears shorter shoes? Yeah, when he's Brad Pitt's like I, yeah, butt. I'm Russian. I, I'm Russian. I am Russian man. I would like to be with the Japanese people. That that sounds exactly like Brad Pitt. You nailed it. That's the, that's how Brad Pitt does a Russian accent. Mm -hmm. I am era. He's Borat. <laughs> am I just doing Borat? Yeah, it also stops you from getting shot in the chest, but I guess you missed that episode of Thomas, did you? I really must have, because that sounds dark as shit. <laughs> Slight change, please. Oh. What? First his wife, now his son. That's a lot of white deaths. It took me a second. <laughs> Brian Tiger Henry is killing me. Let's go! Family. It's about family. This shot composition is fantastic. Yeah. The, the septum piercing looks great on him. It's not something many men can pull off. Yeah. I don't know if I could wear a dead man's boots. I feel like that would be unlucky. Or a dead man's hat. Is this guy just wearing the clothes of the people that he kills? I don't know, but right, but that's his wedding jacket. Oh. Maybe she dies and he never takes it off.
Oh. Poison the cake! Yeah, I was right. She died and he never takes it off. You caught your monologuing, dude. Are there security cameras on these trains? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> really? He's not alive, dude. Let this be a lesson in the toxicity of anger. Hmm. What sabe? What sabe? What sabe? Can eat you up. Dude, you have the briefcase. I would get off this train. Yeah. Although he has no way to contact his contact. That's fun. <laughs> Wedding you infiltrated in Mexico. Yeah. Remember those two wackos from the Bolivia job killed all those people? The twins? Yeah, I'm not so sure they're twins. <laughs> what I'm talking about, we have to have a hard discussion of the caliber of people surrounding ourselves. Why are we whispering? <laughs> the caliber of people were... <laughs> yeah, you didn't happen to see someone come by with a silver briefcase, did you? It's a little train sticker by the handle. Actually, yeah, um, a man with black framed glasses had it. He went that way. Thank you, love. See, being polite to young women benefits you in life. That's the lesson here. That's the lesson here. Be polite to young ladies. Shh, run. This is the quiet car. Got to use your small inside voice in here, son. I'm really hear what you're saying. There's a gun. Shh. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Really? You don't remember me? You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Okay. I've always been lucky. <laughs> it's a wall. Mm -hmm. But it's an illusion. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every day is fucking headache with you, in it? <laughs> right. Yes. I learned everything about people from Thomas. Everything. Really? So I can read people like you so well, and you huh. are Diesel. I feel like this movie would make more sense to me if I had seen Thomas, Thomas the Tank. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I have no idea what they're talking about. I watched Thomas the Tugboat. The fuck is Thomas the Tugboat? Same kind of thing. Is it the Canadian knockoff? Probably. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this poor mascot! Ooh. I think there really was cool. nobody on the other side of that chair. <laughs> yeah, seriously, right? I'll call the conductor. He's a bag of dicks, lady. <laughs> I thought the goal was not to kill people. <laughs> I think that was the goal. <clears throat> is this is the story of this movie him getting over murdering people? And getting back into the game. How many phones does he go through by the end of this movie? Oh my god. I'm like MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hey, bro. What? I'm a Kinesi tuner box. Was this like a, like a sex thing? <laughs> nope. 
Oh, I was, I was kidding. Uh, yeah, what's up? What do you need, bro? Why is Channing Tatum in this movie? <laughs> Tell me, and I promise I'll only shoot you enough. Whoa, whoa, it, um, is, is this the sex stuff? <laughs> I do love an accent. <laughs> He's like, God, I hope it's the sex stuff. A pillow to the face. Maybe something clever. Pillow to the face doesn't actually work when they're on a ventilator. That wouldn't accomplish anything. Uh, please this don't ever wake up like that. Tweedledum. Yeah. Yes, this is once again. Wow, these people are all very cool. I want to make sure it won't some Yakuza trap, but clearly not. It's some fucking 80s dance off, isn't it? Wave to your fucking fans, princess. <laughs> Professionals. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have done it better myself. We would be great assassins. Together. We would be... We no would, one would expect No one it. would, yeah, suspect us. That's true. I mean, that couldn't have gone better. <laughs> Could have. Thomas still taught me how to see people, read them for real. Yeah. And I'm never wrong, am I? No. I really liked that. Yeah. It's like, no, no, I'm, I'm being, I'm being serious for a moment. Mm -hmm. He was like, all right. They're great together. This moment of sincerity, though, is really important. Yeah. And that was really well done. I've been kind of waiting for that from the movie. Yeah. I needed that. You have to, like, balance the goof with the, with the something, something for me to give a shit about. Yeah, exactly. And you do that by having the characters care about each other. That was smart. If I had one in the chamber, I would rock this bad boy right now. Boundaries. We need boundaries. <laughs> if I had one in the chamber, I'd rock! Oh, that's great. No, no. It's a nat unless you fire it. But don't fire it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I can power into this movie. Occupied. His boss came here to whack the hornet. Oh my god, did you just say whack? He did, I'm bringing it back. No, we need to stay where it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Can I say? <laughs> I think that's well, boss water. I gave all my money to that guy to wear my hat and glasses. <laughs> Does she not notice her car is destroyed? She's like, I don't make enough money to care about this. I'm just going to do my job. <laughs> you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. That's how when they went with the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That glass bottle. <laughs> the people on this bull train are so not concerned with anything that is happening. I know. <laughs> Terrifying. That was a really good shot. You're gonna get that? No! It could be important! <laughs> For what it's worth, you seem like a right fucking arsehole, and I'm glad you're gonna fucking die with me. That's nice. Just <laughs> curious. Do they even know what Lemon looks like? You two do look like twins, huh? Have you opened the case? Nah, of course not. Do you know what? I never asked for the combination. So no one gets greedy. <laughs> he does have bad luck. <laughs> yeah. Or that's really good luck. I, that, that, that's a confusing one. No, in that, in that situation, that was very bad luck. They were buying it. They were, oh, I had him. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. You're right. Are you okay? That's... <laughs> Oh, yeah, you never shave on a bullet train, you know what they say. <laughs> He's, he is stealing this movie. Yeah. In a, in a bunch of good performances. Yes, which one is the diesel? Which one is the duck? The duck. It's a kid's show. Thomas the train engine. Why does everyone know Thomas? 
Do more people watch this show than I think, dude? I guess. At least when Wolverine did this, he had claws. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, like, flat dress shoes are not going to give you the grip. <laughs> uh, please. How did you not do that? It's not. really unbelievable. Please, please. <laughs> you. The funny thing is, they're on the same side. Don't really know who is on whose side. Well, he needs White Death to not kill him, and she wants the White Death dead, so, like, they should be working together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why did he put his head through it? You have brass knuckles. It was working. No. Oh, shit. That was my favorite character. <laughs> yeah. How is there another, like, this movie should be wrapped up soon. Like, we should be heading into the finale yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Half the characters are dead. There's also nobody on this train. Are they usually this empty? No. God, he's got a great walk. <laughs> what? This movie is so weird. The Hornet is in the mascot costume. That's over. Fuck, that thing is hot. What's up, Zazzy Beats? I... Oh, that was a joke. I... Uh... How does he remember that? And not the groom. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Your blood congeals, clogging your veins. You bleed on your fucking I said hey, yes. yes. <laughs> I got him. I should write movies. <laughs> Lady, you can have the case. Oh, but you've seen my face, bitch. <gasps> wow, that was great. She's probably immune, right? I don't know if you can work up an immunity to any poison. <gasps> Oh. Shit, man. Do you have a backup? What do you think, bitch? That was fucking brilliant! You gotta be better prepared. A man's planning, a man's planning again. <laughs> I'm man's planning. Can I get you? Shakespeare would be proud. I wanna hold your hand. Oh, a bitch. Wow. I'm just gonna ignore the, the blood on the ground. What are you gonna do about it, I guess? <gasps> do you think all of the staff are in the White Death's payroll and that's why they're ignoring all the death and destruction? Maybe. I bought every ticket until the end of the line. That's wealth. Those are expensive seats. Huh. Are you okay? Diesel. From the grave. And it was you the whole fucking time, you dirty little diesel. What are you doing, you fella? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's just move. And grab your bag. don't know what like the time window is for administration like that's actually very interesting my grandson was pushed off a roof what makes you think i would leave him unprotected yeah okay okay save the kid yeah, yeah, yeah. the only real innocent in this movie Be a bit more clean up than just the bag. But... Yeah, but it takes forever. <sighs> Snake, don't open! <laughs> a blind man could see you or the one in the dark. Oh, about a blind match is pretty convincing. 
Why do you laugh at fate? Uh, man, fate for me is just another word for bad luck. I don't know, you survived all this nonsense, so... Yeah, like, your luck's all right, bro. Ladybug? Yeah. This is very lucky indeed. No, she's being ironic. She... Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's very quick. No, no. It's a good story for you, I think. Oh, this is how this movie's two hours long. I don't want to hold the seven sorrows. Is this sunrise? Like, have they yeah. been on it overnight? They must have gone on it like three or four in the morning. You sold to me. Mm, me too. Twice. <laughs> I don't know what to <laughs> oh, he did He's got the vest! vest! Mind hell. <laughs> Where the fuck is my brother? No, that's so sad. I don't think there's any chance he's alive. No. I love this, like, Romeo and Juliet between them, though. Mm. Where he goes off and gets himself killed because he was mourning the guy who drank the sleeping potion. Remember when Channing Tatum was in this movie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's the white death. He's too young, though. True. But I was thinking, too, because he's, he's tall, tall as fuck. To anger, we are slow to understand. No, well, I'm fast to kick your ass, though. I swear to God. A plum does not resent the hungry man, but the farmer who planted the tree. He resents the, resents the farmer. So how do plum, plums have fucking oh. resentment? <laughs> oh, my. Scary-ass gun. Don't open that case. Yeah, don't do it. I would love if you just opened that case right now and the movie ended with them dying and then the, the train pulls it like half the train pulls into Kyoto. Yeah, it's not Channing Tatum. Who is it though? <laughs> Let's go! Of course it's Michael Shannon. Who else would it be? Yeah, oh my god, of course. <laughs> this uh, movie's so strange. <laughs> People hurt people. Jesus Christ. I can never go to therapy after he's this movie. Like, it's ruined it for me. He's like one of those like crystal ladies. <laughs> Not gonna Fucking do, it, do it. But it's gonna work later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Tommy. <laughs> Time for you to shut up. Oh shit, everything's in Japanese. There's no episode in Japanese. What the f <laughs> You can't just run. <laughs> like I mean, the subway trains in Toronto are mostly automated, so same thing. Why? Why do you do what you do? You know, I've been asking that very question. Did you had your own kid killed? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes, I did. The piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Carver. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? I go in for call. The man who murdered my wife. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking Carver. What an asshole. Yeah. This is all muted in the YouTube version. <laughs> Our editor's just gonna keep us dancing to nothing. Thanks, Brandon. Ooh. Do you think they bought a real bullet train and destroyed it? Ooh, no, I don't. <laughs> um, that's a rad shot. Very cool. I took the velocity of the train and divided it by the mass, and I realized that I don't know how to fucking drive a bullet train. Dude. I won't steal, though. Oh, it's so beautiful. I got this. Stop the train. Woo. <laughs> 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 
Manual and then use it to stop. <laughs> We're on the wrong track. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! But I got another brother now. Really? Fuck no! <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I think at that speed you're still dead, but you know. I don't know, yeah. If you are going 200 kilometers an hour and you hit the water from 70 feet up. Fuck it. Ah. seen some shit. <gasps> oh my god. Ow! <laughs> He's dead. Oh no! That is so funny. Cause in Deadpool 2, mm -hmm. Zazie Domino crashes into the mascot character and that's how she survives her fall. Zazie Beats, who plays Domino, is in this movie with Ryan Reynolds who plays Deadpool and then that's how he survives at the end and he's in Deadpool 2. And he gets caught in the electrical line. Why is this just a reference to Deadpool 2? What the fuck is this movie? It's a marketing campaign. At the end of the movie, they're like, if you've seen Deadpool 2, this will be very funny. <laughs> How the fuck are Ow. you alive? That sword went like. Cleaved his a whole. Foot. It's still oh, inside of him. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just let it go, bro. Do not call me, bro! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, did you see that? <laughs> bro, bro, did you see that? Don't call me bro. Highly recommend. I, I, I am the white <laughs> Tangerines. Nice car. Yes, it is. Try not to bleed on <laughs> Wow. That was a ride. Holy crap. Um, I yeah, I didn't realize that the entire movie was a reference to Deadpool 2, but um It it's not, but at the same time, like it's just so strange. I, it's just a oh. remind us that Brian Ty Tyree Henry is alive. Fucking stop! Tangerines. Fuck. Fuck you, piece of this! Oh! <laughs> I figured that was going to be what it was. As soon as it was tangerines, I was like, oh, of course Lemon yeah, yeah, found tangerines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that there's a version of this movie that's like 25 minutes shorter. I was gonna say like 20 minutes. That's yeah. really, really incredible. Yeah. This was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there, there was a point where it got, like it went a, t a step too far in in like the sideways directions. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Like there, there was just a point where I was like, th there's a few too many mysteries. Yeah. You know? Yeah, And I it guess. was super fun. Like super fun, mm -hmm. great action sequences. I love a lot of what they did. Oh I yeah, just, there, oh my there's gosh. definitely a there's a slightly shorter, slightly more concise version of this movie that works a little bit better. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a little longer than it needed to be, but I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. at, like you know, 
I was laughing. I was having a good time. Um, and, and like the, the the number of people in this movie that yeah. are like a list actors was um wild. Yeah. Um. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that was. I I'm not even gonna count. Literally, the like the higher cast of the Lost City, except for Daniel Radcliffe. Showed yeah, up. everybody, a, everybody showed up for this movie. Which is funny because Brad Pitt produced that. So I, I wonder if they like were filming back to back or something, and they just had like they were around back to back. Or maybe they're just all really close, like because Chan Tatum and Sandra Bullock, right? Yeah. Um, it's just it's it's just funny to me. It was it was yeah. that 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 Lost City came out this year with this, so many of these people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the Deadpool two references. Are a lot, in my opinion. See, I didn't even like catch on to it, so I feel like if you remember that movie really well, maybe. But yeah, maybe it's just funny that because Brad Pitt plays Vanisher, who dies when he falls on the um, electrical poles. Yeah. And Zazie Beetz, who's in this movie, falls onto the man, uh, falls onto the mascot suit in that movie, yeah. and that's how he survives this movie. And then after he survives that, they pan past the like electrical wires, and I was like, this is such a this is such a weird like. Yeah. And I think that that's, it's weirdly like what is so fun about this movie, but I think is at the detriment of this movie standing on its own, is that this movie becomes so referency at a certain point. And but only like, if you get the references. No, but I mean even like Channing Tatum's bit. Like what do you it, mean? The, this movie breaks the immersion of the story and is a little bit too long. And so for me, How I... How does it break the immersion? Because Channing Tatum shows up to be like a Channing Tatum joke. Ryan Reynolds shows up to be a Ryan Reynolds joke. And for just for my taste, like I think that I could have done with a... I, I wish I cared more about the story at the end, but there were a few too many times where I got like pushed out of the movie mm. by them being like... Ha ha ha! Look, this is a funny real world joke, yeah. but not a funny joke in the movie. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that that that's not something that took me out of it at all. Like I don't think that those things detracted from it for for me. And but... that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's a totally yeah. subjective thing on my part. Yeah. I'm not saying that it makes the movie bad. I'm just saying for my taste. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. There were a couple of times where I'm like, like, okay, we get it. <laughs> as opposed to like the Tom's the Tank Engine stuff, which is funny for the characters, uh, funny and real mm -hmm. for the characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And isn't just for the audience. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Um, and I, like I think that those are the things that I would have like trimmed out. I, I also think there, this movie does an interesting thing where there's no, there's no way to follow the story as you're watching it. Mm -hmm. It is all just information, so that the final monologue is funny because it all comes to because the the when Michael Shannon shows up, it's not like a like a Knives Out right mm -hmm. where you're solving a mystery. Yeah, yeah. This was. I put these pieces together to orchestrate this to happen. Yeah. I'm and not, Yeah, that's fine. I think the movie could have been a little bit stronger if we had followed Brad Pitt a little bit more, solving the mystery of what's going on around him. Yeah. As opposed to everyone showing up to the train station at the end, and the only person who knows what's up is Michael Shannon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fair. You know? Yeah. There, the, I, I think it was like the point after most of the characters were dead, where I turned to you and was like, there's still like an hour. Yeah. No, I would... I, th and that's at the point, too, where I was like, weird, like there's... Like, I wasn't, I felt a little bit lost in the middle. Like you said, mm -hmm. I think it could be a bit shorter, but I don't know. I think I liked it more than you did. I know. It's it's not that I didn't like it. I liked it a lot. No, I know. I know. It's, I know. It's just one of those weird movies where I wanted to be more on the journey of figuring out with the characters. Yeah. And have Brad Pitt, like, figure it out. Yeah. But there's no way he, like, could have, which is fair given the circumstances. You know, they this was a story they told, and I think that they told it well, yeah, um, it just, it does the thing at the end where the characters are talking and it cuts to flashbacks of moments that neither of those characters know happened. Like, nobody alive during Michael Shannon's speech is aware of the flashbacks of the characters that they are telling the story of. What which, do you mean? Um, uh, so it cuts to the speech and then uh, they it cuts back to the... Michael Shannon starts telling the story mm -hmm. of the different characters that he brought to the train to die. Yeah. And it cuts to their perspective of the incident that they did. But Michael Shannon wasn't there. So he doesn't like he knows of those beats, but none of the characters alive were at those beats. And I always just find that kind of flashback work is a little bit jarring to me. Oh, I, I think it's weird if we haven't already seen those flashbacks. But those were already those were just repeated flashbacks that we'd already seen of stuff that we know we already know happened. 
we know, yeah. but the characters talking about it don't. I mean, and they that, know that what happened. Sort of, yeah, yeah. But but that yeah. that that just that that's like a like a. I feel like I'm being nitpicky, and I shouldn't be. No, it's fine. Like it you just, can. It was such a like. It was such a fun movie. Mm-hmm. It was such a fun movie. Yeah. I just wanted it to be more than just a fun movie. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm being so negative. I don't know why. I liked it a lot. Nah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's like negative. Like I think there's there's always reasons to have discussions about like art and like mm-hmm. why and how it works for you or doesn't work for you or how you can see what works for other people or you're like, if I was directing this, I wouldn't have personally made it this choice this way. And that's why it's art and that's why it's unique to the people that are creating it, right? Yeah, that's really fair. Right? Like, you know, like, if, if you'd been doing this movie, it would have been, like, a different version of it. And, and and that's cool. Like, if I had made this movie, it would be a different version of it. Like, um, yeah, that's why it's fun to, like, talk about, right? Like, you're not sitting here like, oh, shit, because they didn't do it my way. It's just, like, an observational thing. Yeah, there's just a couple of beats in it. Like, the, the coyote... Was the no the wolf. the wolf? The wolf sequence was just a it was just a really long backstory that didn't amount to much. Ultimately, it was yeah like in like the first like bit of the movie, and then he was dead. And it was like, but it was like a full like three minute song, and those are those are the things that I was like, oh okay yeah no mm-hmm. that was for fun. You had a great you had a great musical sequence that you wanted to put in your movie. But when your movie's and over two gorgeous. hours long, yeah, 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 those are the things where those are the beats that I look back on and I'm like, that was a that was a that was a long choice to like. No, I, I think that's for right. A jo- for the joke of oh, and look, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. The movie the movie was a little bit. And they play that long. same joke with Karen Fukuhara. What happened to the conductor? No idea. Yeah. He just left. I, I he got off the train. Yeah. Did we miss it? Well, no, because the white death was like I paid for everybody's ticket, but you would still need the people to work the train. So I don't really know what happened there. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, ultimately, I think where I land on this movie is that the performances are all so funny mm-hmm. and the people are so talented. Like, it's an incredible cast and the movie leans on that too heavily. Okay. And so I think that that's, I think that that's the thing that I've been trying to work out in my feelings in what I've been saying. Yeah. Is that I think that, the sh- that this movie was like, we have all these incredible people in this movie. Yeah. And so you're going to have a good time. And yeah. I did... And I just wish like the 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 movie under the the star power mm-hmm. held as much weight as the star power did. Yeah, like this isn't like a deep movie by any means. You no. know, you're not supposed to like question your existence in the universe by any means. Um, and I still have so many questions though. What happened to the conductor? I don't know. I I don't have the answer. I I'm thought so he was going to be so important. I was like, oh, like this is the I I you know. The bait and switch character, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just seemed like he was, and maybe he like died at some point. I don't remember him. I don't remember either, but I don't remember him coming back after the firecracker sequence. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Truly. This Truly, is fun. Who knows? If it was you, fun. Yeah. If you if you're looking for something like fun to watch with somebody, I think this is a good choice. <laughs> if you watched our entire reaction. Yeah. If you got to this point. If you watch this whole thing and you're like, oh, maybe I'll watch this movie now that I've seen no, I mean, to like show <laughs> all of it. the plot points. I mean, show it to a friend, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is one that, yeah, this is one that would be fun with a group. I I think that this movie is more fun with a group. It's like a party movie almost. Yeah, I wish we'd seen this one in theaters. This is one that like mm. just you and I together, you don't get that like, you don't get that vibe of like the, the like room coming together in the good moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's fair. Yeah, if, like out of ten, what would you give it? What's your like, what's your score? Um, out of ten, I I don't know. I honestly, I really liked the movie. I'd give it an eight point five. Dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I I I quite enjoyed it. I, I had a good time. The only things were, yeah, I think there was stuff that like it went a bit too long. That's all. That's my yeah. that's my biggest thing. I was gonna go like seven point five eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I liked it. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. I yeah. I'm I'm I I don't know. It's weird. It's it's a weird one because it feels like the kind of movie that I should love. 
And that I think is why, I think that that's why I have like, that's why I wanted to talk about it at the end is because this feels like the kind of movie that is like so up my alley. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out why I didn't like love it. It's also one of those movies I think that you will enjoy more or less depending on what kind of like mood that you're in. Right? Oh, yeah, maybe that's it, like, too. Like, yeah. this is, I, I I definitely think this is that kind of movie where if you're looking for something you really sink your teeth into, this is probably not going to be it. If you're looking to have something on to just, like, have a laugh and a beer and some popcorn, you know, like, this is a good time. I, well, I don't know. Like, like you know, like, we... You want to just eat while you watch Untold Bloodshed. I love it. That's, I, I can't go to the movies without popcorn. Uh, <laughs> it's a problem. We I never have popcorn, popcorn during our reactions. Well, yeah, because I don't want to chew into the microphone. I'll I've, chew into the I've microphone. I've thought Somebody about... Somebody will love that. Somebody we'll will find an audience that. for that. Yeah, no. No, I've thought about making popcorn during these. But yeah, th- th- this is a movie where I think that, like, what how how you're feeling when you watch it will probably di- influence your first impression, right? Like, you might watch this in, like, six months and feel very differently about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I would actually enjoy it more on a rewatch. Because I think that I think that I went into this movie, and like when I turned to you ten minutes in, I was like, "Oh, this is the kind of movie where everything's a mystery, but it's all gonna like, you're gonna be able to solve it all." Yeah. I think that at that point, I decided on the experience that I wanted from the movie, and then I. Did you were not... like, "I'm watching Knives Out," and it's not yes. Knives Out. Yeah. I I think that that's the problem. I think this is a me problem and not a movie problem. I got to that point where they'd introduce a bunch of characters Mm -hmm. and I was excited for the experience of the like detective movie. Yeah. And then this movie didn't deliver that. Mm -hmm. And so I think that I think this is an issue of my expectation at that point right. to the end rather than the film. I think the film plays out the way that it wanted to. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It wasn't the movie that I thought I was sitting down for. You were waiting for Kenneth Branagh to come out and be like, I've cracked the code. I've solved it, right? Well, actually, like, no, not at the end because we got that at the end. I was waiting for there to be more like mysteries along the way that I felt like I could... Like, trying to make deduce guesses. for myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But because the final reveal is, oh, it's Michael Shannon. You know what I mean? Like there was no way yeah. for me to figure that out. Yeah. Um, the the reveal of like Joey King being his daughter is kind of obvious, but like all, all of the like story of like, oh, this is all about trying to figure out who killed his wife. And it's all of these people for different reasons in this very interconnected way that has to be explained because it's not in... Like, obviously, it was going to be about his wife because she yeah, was she yeah. died in the car. Like, that, that part of it was obvious. For sure. But the, like, the idea that the surgeon was killed while killing his, because his wife was dying, like, that was all very convoluted yeah, in a surgeon, way that I was never going to solve that. His wife died because the surgeon who could have saved her was killed by the hornet. For another reason. Yeah. yeah. And that person was also at a wedding that, like, it, it wasn't, the the final tale of that got us there wasn't a mystery that I could solve. Yeah. It was a funny, because the movie's about fate, it was about a series of events that happened. Yeah. That have to be explained because they're too crazy to be believed, right? Yeah, totally. And I think that when the movie told that story and it wasn't something that I, it wasn't the experience that I wanted out of the final bit, that is where I think that my expectations after that like 20 minute mark Mm -hmm. of the film let down my experience of the movie, not the movie letting me down. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. That makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah I it's well acted. Like, there's, there's no, like... I've, I've yeah. had that before, where I think a movie is going to be a certain thing, and it's not, and because it's not, like, I, I feel a certain way about it. I think that's totally valid. Like, we've all done that. We've all walked into movies and been like, oh, this is not what I thought it's going to be, right? I think that the question that needed to be answered for me to, like, enjoy the ending was why Carver killed the White Death's wife. And I don't, like, who hired that? Yeah. Because that's the question that I don't understand, Mm -hmm. unless I missed something. No, that was never answered. And and I think that that's, so somebody set up the sequence of events for the White Death's wife to be murdered. And I think that that's the question that I wish I knew the answer to. Right. Unless I just missed it. Let us know, someone in the comments can be like, wow, you're so stupid. It's clearly this. So Um, maybe it was Sandra Bullock. Well, it would have gone through Sandra Bullock. Yeah, I, yeah. Maria. I, uh, I think. So. Oh, fuck. I don't Whatever. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, lots of this movie. Yeah, interesting. Lots to unpack here, which is fun. Like. But it's David Leach. The action was great. The action was great. The acting was yeah. great. Man, this was fun. 
I yeah. really like this. It looked awesome. I wonder if maybe we find out who did it in the sequel. Maybe. I don't think there's a sequel. I think it's like a one-off fun thing. Yeah, maybe. But I had fun, and I hope you guys did too. Yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you dislike this video, and a lot of people are gonna dislike this video and leave comments about how I'm too critical, but uh, if you dislike this video, <laughs> leave those mean comments down below because the algorithm got us hungry and we must feed her. Thank you to our patrons. Uh, Y'all are the algorithm goddesses this episode because mm -hmm. this was the patron pick of the month for November. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you didn't disappoint. This was a wild ride. Yeah. We've watched some crazy movies lately. Yeah. Everything, Ever All at Once, RR, and this have all been like bloody weird action, like kind of like off the wall structurally movies. Yeah, not like classic, I don't know. Yeah, weird. Yeah, they don't fit into like a box. Also thing. very adult. Yeah, we're adults. <laughs> uh, if you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. And as always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye.